This week on the House of Bread Show, we're joined by Alison, our catering manager, who tells us about cooking on a Wednesday and how you can help, what went down at Walton High School, and as always, much, much more. Well, hello once more to the House of Bread video blog. This week, joining me, we've got Will. Good morning, Jack. And our catering manager, Alison. Good morning. Good morning, Alison. So we'll crack on straight with you, Alison. Why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> right, every Wednesday we supply a meal for 100 plus people. And we are really struggling at the moment to get teams together to cook on a Wednesday night. Now, it can seem very daunting to cook for 100, mm. but we have all the equipments needed, the big pans, the pans for the oven and everything. And it would be a fantastic thing if we could get more teams together yes. to cook yeah, for definitely. us. And we've just had Tesco who did yes. it. Yeah. They were very good, weren't they? They were very well did, yeah. uh, As part of the Challenge 100 Meals. And it is a massive good team building um, mm, thing to do, yeah, exercise to do. Um, we have got every utensil, so you don't have to worry about they, that. They can just use you as well, Alison, can't they? We, yes. can, we can wheel you out, and we can all sit around and discuss a yeah. menu. I will tell everybody what they need to buy or what we can and what supply. what do we normally spend? Uh, what, what's the sort of cost per head? Um, well, we should spend no more than £100 a head, but the biggest bill... <laughs> £100 Sorry, a overall. £100 <laughs> that would be nice. very gourmet. Wow. <laughs> gourmet. A pound a head. <laughs> A pound, a pound a head is the normal yeah. budget, but at the moment we've never been anywhere near that, mm. which is good, and, cook, and that's cooking a meat meal, mm. uh, yeah. roast dinner, so it's not as expensive as you would think. You could also supply, be a supplier of our food, couldn't you, if you had an allotment or, a, or anything like that and you're growing produce yes. throughout the year, you could supply that yes. as a contribution. Yes, yeah, so if you've got be any yeah. good vegetables we can use on a Wednesday night, yeah. because probably our meals are the only hot meals they get in the week, mm. and definitely probably the only fresh vegetables they get yeah. in the week. And there's pudding as well, isn't there? And there's pudding. Yeah. So yes. what kind of thing would a team be doing on a Wednesday from, say, for, it's usually from four o'clock, isn't it? Four the team o'clock, they there. can come to the kitchen, and they could cook the meal that they decided to cook. Um, I will be there to help them along with their stick. Um, I will also meet up with them before to arrange what they need mm. and and what you order to do and cook stuff. And they can cook shepherd's pies, spaghetti bolognese, lasagna, absolutely anything that they need. And there's a lot cooking. of us to help them as well. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a washing up peel, team as well. To yes. peel potatoes, <laughs> peel potatoes and yep. Yep. things. And like when I do chips, we have five volunteers who will stand there and peel a bag of potatoes. And yeah. would, you say, would you say it's a lot of fun? It is a lot of fun. <laughs> it is a lot of fun. <laughs> but we're biased, but it is. You could it ask is. the Argus team, because yeah. they did not... Sorry, the Tesco team. Well, we had Argus as well. Mm. But the Tesco team were in fits of laughter yeah. all night in the end. And, and they're, they're going back. to do it again, yes. Yeah. So we can't have them. Yeah. yeah. Um, we did have a good laugh. Mm. It's not that serious. No. It's and it is a nice hearty meal at the end of it for everyone. Yes. And you can eat as well if you've you, cooked you it. You see can something eat it. at the end of all you were. Yeah. Um, which is really, really nice. Yeah, really it's nice. And they so appreciate it. They do. You know, they, they do. do. And how do we get in contact with you, Alison? If I'm, if I'm out there thinking, oh, yes, I'm a budding cook, <laughs> how do we get in contact? Um, well, they can contact me through the website. Yep. Or they can contact me by phone. Which is 07739 072604. But Jack will put that up at the end for you if you didn't manage to get it. <laughs> <laughs> but the point is, get in contact. If, if yeah. you're in any sort of thoughts about, you know, oh, it's a bit daunting, don't yeah. worry. You love got it. Lots of support, haven't we? They love mm. it. Yeah. I love it. It's not. We haven't lost anybody daunting. yet, have we? No. 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 Not that I know of. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much, Alison. And we're privileged to have Alison this yes. morning because we're having to record this on a Tuesday morning. So Alison's got to disappear very quickly to Doxy, haven't you? I have. I'm cooking yeah. at Doxy today. Because <laughs> they're all up there panicking at the moment. They have no tea bags yet. <laughs> so through the magic of Hob... There we go, she's gone. Right, fantastic. So Doxy's sorted. Yeah. <laughs> so we can fantastic. carry on. Good on.
Right, so, moving on, as I always say, right, so, um, again, we're mentioning them again, Stafford FM. Yes, uh, Stafford FM are coming to Bread Church this Friday, that's the mm. 5th of June. Uh, I think it's Stu, Haycock and Friend. Um, and they're going to basically record uh, what happens at um, Bread Church. I believe they're going to be making some scones, but don't tell them about that. Um, but yeah, they're coming really to promote um, the garden and uh, the official opening on the 20th of June. But it's to come and share the sound, basically, mm. because obviously it is radio. And there's a lot um, of sound at Bread There's a lot Church. of sound there. And we want to just sort of enable some of the listeners of Stafford FM to understand a little bit about... Uh, what we do and it will link very nicely because I forgot to mention Jack that I and Matt Long are on the uh, 9 to 9.45 slot yes you've never mentioned that before <laughs> the gardening questions <laughs> uh, but yes yeah, so thank you Stu I'm looking forward to that that's and, going to be uh, fun it is yeah and, and it, we've had uh, we've had BBC Radio Stoke haven't we recording there before yes yeah and it's, it's so it, it does work it works really well so thank you for that it's going to be very exciting and we're getting good at this because Bread Church from uh, Rising Brook to Walton last Friday. Yes, indeed. A we, great success. It was fantastic. Thank you, Pete Sears, particularly, Pete, bless you, and Larnell and uh, Lisa and myself. We basically entertained 120 year sevens, which is why I'm probably looking still shattered. <laughs> but thank you, all the staff there, particularly Andy Stokes. Um, it was amazing. Uh, mm. and, and credit to the kids, because actually, I say kids, so that sounds derogatory. They were really, really excited. They asked lots and lots of questions. There is some uh, video footage which we're hoping to be able to show next week, um, which gives you a bit of an insight. But if you're a school thinking, Bread Church, come into a school near me, we can make it happen. And in fact, I brought um, oh, some yes. of the work. Because it wasn't just bread they were no. making. Um, we also asked them to do some collages. And this is basically getting a magazine uh, and cutting out... Uh, pictures and themes of what we spoke about so we were very challenging to the mm. kids because they were asking about bread making sure but we also said well actually the reason the house of bread exists is because of supporting homeless and vulnerable people mm. and um, we had some really really interesting dialogue oh, so it was it was a real joy so thank you Walton High School right now just before we started doing this um, Alison was talking to you about the raise 100 yeah this is the challenge Jack we we need uh, folk uh, pretty much anybody or as a group to to raise 100 pounds because the budget of one pound per head um <laughs> one pound per one pound per head it's 100 people that we're on average catering for so if you're a group thinking can i make a difference what's the target if you raised 100 pounds then you are feeding a wednesday night hob um so whether you want to do um you know running jumping off stuff climbing up things um, whatever it is, if you've got a target, set your target, we can provide you with sponsor forms, uh, set your target for £100, um, and then that money can be gifted towards the catering, which will feed 100 people. Mm. And you get a certificate, a laminated certificate that and says more and it is a, being included. it is only £100, so 10 friends, even yeah. I've got 10 friends. Maybe not all of them have got £10. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's only £100. But yeah, no, point one made, Jack. Brilliant. Right, so... That's it for this week. We've just got one last thing that uh, you wanted to talk about, Will. Yes. Um, one of our dear friends of House of Bread uh, has died, and it's fallen to House of Bread to be doing the funeral and the memorial mm. service. Um, so in this week's issue of the Staffordshire newsletter, there will be a small feature in that paper about um, the gentleman who has sadly passed away. So um, what I'm saying is if you could read that article... Um, and perhaps respond in the way that it's asking is do you know this gentleman um, and there'll be more bits and details about how you might be able to get involved and support what we're doing um, but yeah it's it's one of the things in in life where we have to deal with the situation um, but we're going to make it a memory of his life and mm. it will be something mm. that I hope all his family and friends treasure oh lovely fantastic uh, sad but lovely note to end yeah. on Right, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again next time. Goodbye. This will keep the viewers well pleased. <laughs>